Hi. Um, I'm Larry Ratzel Swoboda, and I'm a Tuli Halak. Um, I was uh, growing up in Queens in the uh, mid-60s, nice Jewish middle-class kid on a fast track to become an accountant. When one night a friend of mine says, let's go into the village, we drove over the 59th Street Bridge. We found ourselves on McDougal Street and we um, saw a group called the Fugs were playing. And I went in and watched it and it was mind-boggling. I remember, um, of course, gravitating songs uh, to songs like uh, Slum Goddess from the Lower East Side, but uh, also there were these incredible songs, Kill for Peace, Morning, morning, nothing, which just resonated forever. And for reconciling banks and statements to some pizzeria didn't seem like a thing to do from then on. Um, I was lucky enough to uh, get friendly with Thule. Uh, Thule was uh, like a colossus who bridged the worlds of the literary beats and the hedonistic hippies and infused his gentle pacifist worldview into everything he did. I remember uh, going to visit Thule uh, in his loft on Spring Street and uh, ever the gracious host, Thule offered me some tea and then he said, uh, and go get some sugar in your cabinet. And I went to the cabinet and I opened up to get some sugar and there was a little note that Thule had written and it said, please stay away from the sugar signed Thule and it was no to the cockroaches because Thule would not bomb a cockroach. Um, the fact that uh, Thule continued to make his voice heard, like Ed mentioned, uh, at YouTube at 86 after two debilitating strokes, puts all of us who can still feel greatly in his debt. Um, it was even two weeks before he died, I got a series of phone messages from Thule because he had read, uh, well, I, I had given him an oral copy of uh, my Houdini book, and he had listened to it, and he wanted a call to tell me that the folks had been to Houdini's hometown, Appleton, Wisconsin, to exercise uh, Joseph McCarthy's grave, but he was very upset that there was a reporter who reported that they pissed on Joseph McCarthy's grave, and who he said, we never would do that, not when we were there, we were there to elevate his spirit. And uh, he was just, until the end, he was correcting the record. Um, his last few days were uh, not such a happy ending uh, with tubes and drips and IVs and things like that. But pneumonia, nothing, blindness, nothing, erratic blood pressure, nothing. Hospital-induced sepsis, a whole lot of nothing. Tuli, forever something.